Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying Mario Month. <laughs> I get a little bit ambitious around this time of year, and it's somewhat of a tradition for Zelda Month to go into December, so why not continue that tradition with Mario Month, is what I decided to say instead of... Oops. Well, regardless of the date, I've got one more Mario video for you guys. We're taking our third look at the Super Mario Brothers Super Show because I can't help but be hooked on the brothers. Like last time, we're gonna take a look at two episodes instead of just one. So, <laughs> cartoon go! Episode 43, the Koopas are coming times two. I tried a bunch of times to say that twice. It just sounds weird. So I'm not gonna do it. As always, before the cartoon portion of the show, we get a live action segment with Mario and Luigi, played by Lou Albano and Danny Wells. Mario is freaking out because... Tulio, the human wrench is out to get me. Tulio. You heard it right, Luigi. Tulio. That's actually what they're calling him. This Tulio guy, who's apparently another plumber notorious for beating people up, is mad at Mario because he asked his sister out. Fortunately for Mario, someone named Obi-Wan Cannoli is coming to visit today. You're talking about the famous spirit who helps people uh, that are about to get pounded? The very same. Huh. That's convenient, as well as incredibly specific. So Cannoli shows up and tells Mario that he needs to run into a wall. When you can pass through a wall unseen, the path to enlightenment will be clear. What are you waiting for? There's the wall. Start passing. Now, I'm not really sure how that's gonna help, but there's no but. I don't get it. Some kind of karate kid thing, I guess. Cartoon time! We arrived in the 13 mushroom colonies at the urgent request of the great General George Washington. What? I cannot tell a lie. Things are terrible here. What? We are fighting to save our new nation that bring freedom to all mushrooms. What? Yes, this is a George Washington American Revolutionary War episode. I've seen a lot of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, and there's a lot of odd ones, but this has got to be the weirdest one yet. Freedom for all mushrooms. I like that. Uh, that's pretty rich coming from you, Princess Peach. Were you duly elected by the mushroom people? I kind of doubt it. Mario and crew wander into camp, meet the general on one side of this war they didn't previously know anything about, and bam, they're instantly on his side, no questions asked. I mean, I guess it's a safe bet considering Bowser is on the opposite side, but I still find their eagerness to take up arms in a literal war for a guy they just met five seconds ago to be pretty funny. I'm not sure how they're planning to fight, though, because other than this stick toad just picked up off the ground, it appears that no one in this war has any guns or weapons of any kind. Except for Koopa, of course, who's wielding a scepter that turns people into ice. Also, holy crap! This guy is freaking pissed that Bowser showed up. Luigi, on the other hand, seems pretty pleased with it. Bowser freezes Mario and company, as well as Washington Toad and his entire army, before taking off to... attack later instead of right now when they're all frozen seems like it worked to me but what do i know i can't break koopa's icy spell i can't even walk but he can apparently wiggle around fall over get up again and talk all while completely frozen in a block of ice this must be some kind of new ice that i'm unfamiliar with i don't know i don't keep track of these things defying reality mario manages to melt the ice he's frozen in by jumping over to the furnace but it makes me wonder what is it that allows mario to be able to do this when no one else seems to be capable i guess it's just like that famous george Washington quote I found on an internet meme says, if you can have a strong heart, you can overcome anything, even an ice all over your whole entire body. Also, Mario Odyssey 2017 Game of the Year. Like the video if you agree. I like that. Whoa, whoa, Breath of the Wild fans. It was George Washington that said it, not me. <laughs> Besides, everybody knows that Battlefront 2's Game of the Year anyway, right? <laughs> Thank you, EA, but uh, I'll take that check after the video. <laughs> just, uh, just cut that out. Just remember to cut that. Mario defrosts the rest of the group, except for Washington, Toad, who's now sliding away from the camp at an escalating speed. Mario tries to save him with a plunger lasso, but to no avail. And 
thus passes the great General George Washington. Let us all remember him by his very famous and very real quote. I agree with whatever dumb opinion you have and feel free to use this in an argument at any point in the future once I'm dead. And also Amiibo Festival is the best Animal Crossing 10 out of 10. My Aiken Pasta Noodle! While Mario defrosts the rest of Washington's army, Luigi is instructed to go warn the Mushroom citizens that the Koopas are coming. The Koopas are coming. I, I don't know why I did that. Sorry. Luigi is instructed to go warn the Mushroom citizens that the Koopas are coming, an obvious reference to the U.S. historical figure, Paul Revere. Also, Washington has a mustache for a few seconds. And also, Luigi turns into Mario for a few frames. But I guess there's not that much point in mentioning every single continuity and animation error in this show because that would take way too long. There's a lot of them. Some really great plumber has been working down here. Not just really great, Sonny. The greatest plumber in the world. There's like a whole section in Wikipedia for each episode dedicated to it. Holy ravioli. Watch my children and you shall see the midnight ride of Luigi. But before he gets too far, some Bezos swoop down and capture him. Oh no! Now I'm a prisoner and the Koopa Shami can attack without warning. Oh no, I've been captured! But at least I have a brief period that I can use to explain how this plot point will affect the rest of the story moving forward. Just... Oh. I ran out of time. Just... just forget it. And so, inspired by the ideals of liberty and pasta for all, General George Washington and Mario cross the Delawide River and sneak attack Bowser from behind. In an epic struggle of very gifable combat, the good guys are victorious and freedom wins the day. Also, there's a scene where Mario shoots the ice beam at literally nothing, just a black screen. Did they not finish? Did they just not finish animating this? I know I said I wouldn't focus on the animation and continuity errors and stuff, but I mean, this is just, I feel like I have to point that out. They didn't, they didn't, fi they didn't, they didn't finish. You forgot to finish the scene. I'm not much of a U.S. history expert per se, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly how it went down. If you guys thought this was good, just you wait, it gets even better in some of the sequels. I can't wait for that Civil War episode! And now to catch back up with live action Mario and Luigi. Cannoli has been training Mario for at least two minutes now, but unfortunately none of it seems to be sticking. Also, none of it makes any sense still. When your consciousness is in harmony with the universe, the cleaver shall blow you asunder. So he resorts to faking an injury and pretending to not be home. Uh, Mario's not here! Baloney, I'm coming in. What should we do? He's gonna pulverize Mario! Leave it to the master, you goober. Since this episode can't decide whether it's a Karate Kid parody or a Star Wars parody, Cannoli uses what I can only assume is supposed to be the Force to stop Tulio. There's no one in here. Especially not Mario. I will leave now since Mario, my pal, is not here. Oh, thank you, Obi-Wan. How did you do it? I think that's a fair question. All he did was say Mario's not here, which is exactly what Mario did in the first place. I just make my voice echo and sound bossy. Oh, I get it! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't. It doesn't make, it, is, it still doesn't make any sense. Nothing he said the entire time made any sense. Although I guess it is funnier if you do Whoa! Like a filter, like an echo. I hate to give away my secrets, but. <laughs> uh, you know what, actually cut that out too. All right, looks like we've got a commercial break, which is the perfect opportunity to introduce my new segment I like to call Commercial Break. <laughs> I haven't had time to make an actual intro for that yet, so that's just gonna that's just gonna have to do for now. Before moving on to the next episode, we're gonna watch a few commercials that you could have potentially seen play during the original air date of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show during the late 80s slash early 90s. But first, I wanna check out the Super Mario cereal that I was lucky enough to get my hands on. Product provided by Nintendo, just, just for the record. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> Got Mario on the front here. It's also an amiibo, uh, or at least functions as an amiibo. And uh, there's like a maze on the back here. I win! It doesn't smell like I'm just sitting here smelling. It doesn't smell like I expected it. I expected it to smell kind of like Lucky Charms, but it doesn't really. It's got more of a fruity smell to it. 
That's probably enough. Oh, hold on. That's probably enough. Jeez, why did I do that? Now I gotta get cereal everywhere. Azara, where are you? Come eat this! Dogs can eat cereal, right? Probably. Normally, I would pour the milk first and then pour the cereal because it doesn't get all soggy that way, but I know the internet gets all mad about that, so I'm gonna do it your way. Feel free to tell me in the comments that I, that I do it wrong, okay? Feel free to tell me that. Cereal! Wow! Wow! I can't even pour the milk right. It's, I got milk and cereal all over my all over my couch. Whose idea was this? It was mine. Thank you. Thank you, me. Ah, sugary dessert, cereal, and cartoons. It's like I'm 10 years old watching Saturday morning cartoons again. Here we go. I, I really expected it to taste like uh, Lucky Charms, but it tastes more like uh, uh, Fruit Loops. I didn't get any marshmallow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some marshmallows. Well, that's not enough. Let me get marshmallows. Yeah, it tastes like a, a, a strange mix of uh, uh, Lucky Charms and Fruit Loops, I think. I just ate a platter of like four enchiladas before filming this. I didn't, I didn't think this through very well. Anyway, onto the commercials, here we go! This Christmas, Pepsi would like to help you celebrate the holidays with a chance of winning a present from Mario in the Pepsi Nintendo Holiday Game. This is strangely amateur looking. I'm kind of surprised Nintendo even signed off on this. Where you could win one of thousands of terrific Nintendo prizes. The official Nintendo seal of quality! My favorite part is there's no background on this store. It's just a giant green screen. Oh man. I'm gonna be sick. Sometimes people think when I say product provided by Nintendo that that means Nintendo paid me to cover whatever I'm talking about. That's actually not true and you know it because they wouldn't be too happy with me eating, eating their cereal on camera talking about how I'm gonna be sick. It has more to do with the enchiladas, to be fair. It's actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, this was this was not a good idea. Mario, I'm sad too. I need a Pepsi. Mario! Hey! Mario! All right! Ah, the perfect thing to wash down this sugar cereal. A sugar dessert drink. <clears throat> I don't feel very good. Look for details on how to win your Nintendo prize wherever you see these Pepsi holiday displays. Nintendo. It's for breakfast now. Nintendo. It's a cereal. Wow. Oh yeah, for those of you not in the know, this wasn't the first Nintendo cereal back in 1986. They had the Nintendo cereal system. It was designed to look kind of like an NES with both Mario and Zelda themed flavors in one box. Pretty neat. I don't have the actual box, but I do have uh, this picture. I looked on eBay, but it was like 500 bucks for a box that I decided I didn't have the budget for that. So this is gonna have to do. Be thankful for what you get. That's my motto for my videos. <laughs> Not a very good motto. Nintendo. Super Mario Jumps. Nintendo. In a fruit flavor crunch. Wow, it's my favorite Mario characters. Dinosaur, atomic bomb explosion, and orange guy. Nintendo. Here's Zelda too. Nintendo. It's very good news. Oh, great. Now I gotta redo that old top five Zelda items video. How can I forget the best Zelda item ever? Cheeto! Nintendo! Two cereals in one! Wow! So that was the original Nintendo cereal. Can't say I never taught you anything on this channel. <laughs> Just got anything, you know, important. I called the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, tang tang, wada wada bing bang. Stop! <laughs> Take one guess what game this commercial is advertising. I can wait. WRONG! It's Dr. Mario! Well, wrong unless you guessed Dr. Mario, in which case I'm willing to bet that you've already seen this commercial, because what the heck does this have to do with Dr. Mario?! Play Dr. Mario on Game Boy, or NES. Ten, ten, one, 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 bang, bang. I beat the witch doctor, and this is what he said. He said, ooh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ooh, ee, ah, ah. And then he struck my head. Wait, hold on. I thought he called the witch doctor because his head was small. Why was he calling the witch doctor in the first place? I know this commercial is over a decade old, but I, 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 I'm waiting for an answer. I, 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 I'll wait as long as it takes. I don't have anything better to do. I'm just sitting here eating my cereal. Well, I guess while I'm waiting, we might as well watch the next episode because it's back on. God, I wish I could afford a better present. Aww. Business has been real bad. We're doing the best we can. It's awful cold out there, but with these all worn out old boots, if I stepped on a dime, I could tell you if it's heads or tails. 
if I could only find the time to step on it. It's uh, two garbanzo beans. That's all we could afford. Oh. Don't worry, big brother. These things can't get no worse, eh? Mario and Luigi sat on Christmas. Well, this is depressing. Uh, that's it. I need another Pepsi. All right! <laughs> it's Christmas. I'll get it. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, somebody stole my transportation. Hey, Luigi, tighten up your belt. We got company. Looks like we've got a sad, emotional Christmas episode for the live action portion this time. Maybe the cartoon is related in some way. Maybe Mario and Luigi save Christmas land or something. Let's find out. We were on our way to help a space colony of mushroom people. That dastardly tyrant, Darth Koopa, was threatening to blow up their planet. As you've probably already guessed, this episode titled Star Koopa is big surprise, another Star Wars parody. May the pasta be with you! Late in the show's lifespan, they started resorting to this type of parody idea. How about an Indiana Jones episode? How about a Zorro episode? How about a rap episode, which we already covered in the last video, or a... Koopatraz prison episode? Which I suppose is supposed to be an episode about the famous Alcatraz prison? That's a... Uh, it's a little dark. After a short chase, Bowser and his henchman Mauser suck up our heroes in a tractor beam a la the original Star Wars movie. There's almost always at least one action scene in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, but this episode goes a little bit overboard with it. Almost half of the episode consists of fight scenes. Everybody's got lightsabers, there's a spaceship battle later on, and Darth Bowser has a blaster that can freeze people. Wait, hold on a second. Did, did, did we already do this whole freezing people thing in the last episode? I swear I didn't plan this. I just picked two episodes that sound interesting and went with it. All right, get this. I've got a new idea for our Mario cartoon. A Star Wars parody mixed with... Uh... Frozen! Bowser can freeze Mario into a block of ice? We've never done anything like that before, it's perfect! Uh, sir, I don't think that movie exists yet. Shut up, Carl! You're fired! Oh man... It's pretty funny to see Mario characters flying around through space, but there's nothing else particularly worth showing other than this scene where they're dumped down the space station's garbage disposal. Which I have to say is pretty brutal now that I think about it. Bowser is freaking scary in this show. He's super dumb, which helps to cover it, but he's not messing around. Capturing marriage or death is not good enough for him. He wants to see blood. Luigi attempts to save them by dropping silverware to block it up like the garbage disposals they used to fix back in Brooklyn and... Uh... How did that work? He just dropped the silverware down and went through the blades. It didn't even touch him. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I'm getting worked up about this still. I, I, I just... I... <laughs> How do our heroes survive this deadly fall? Who knows? because they don't show it. The mushroom space colonists thank you for your bravery under fire. Where's that lunch you promised? We rejoin live action Mario and Luigi with their guest, who's definitely not Santa, by the way. Despite having so little, they share everything they have with him, including their presents. But it turns out later that he actually was Santa the whole time, who could have guessed it, and in return for their kindness, he leaves them presents and Christmas, Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a joyous holiday season to all. The end. The end. The end. Well, again, this is the last Mario Month video. I apologize for being so late. Hopefully you enjoyed Mario Month anyway, but don't go just yet. I was so excited about this that I decided to save it to the end, but I have an extra special guest that's here to join us today. Please give him a big, big round of applause. Here he is. Hey. 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 Who is this? I don't know. Who, I, don't, I don't know who this is. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh thank you. golly. Thank you. Oh thank golly. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had it right here in the in the, in the script. This is not. Where's Where's Chris Pratt? 
Where's Chris Pratt? Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that's something. That's something. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. I'm in alive with pleasure. Look here, you need to listen up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look upon me. Don't look upon me. Oh, hold on, I think I'm passing out. Holy crap. This thing is hot. It's great to be here, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've really blessed us all with your presence here. It's been an honor because I've uh, looked up to you for a long time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Now, bye-bye. No, thank you. 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 I am so sorry. That is the rudest guess that I have ever seen in my life. I, I, uh, this will not happen again. Okay? This will not happen again. Wow!